Welcome to Extra Extra, presented by VDG Sports. I am your host, Vince Douglas Gregory. No filter. Very sensor. Was not singing or dancing or making my chest pop because I am in energy conserving mode. Noobs. You have no clue, but it's okay. I will inform Regs. I'm just going ahead and giving you the heads up right now. I am giving you the heads up right now. Patience is not a quality that um, it's not a quality that I uh, have abundance of. It comes, it's, it goes, it's a fleeting moment for me, but it seems I'm finally seeing the light. I'm finally having my moment, but I can't take full credit for it. I can't take full credit for it. Some of it just happens. Other time, it just happens. And it is what it is. It is what it is. Noob, that's still here. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Thank you for being a part of this. That's all I got to say. Regs, we back at it again. Regs, we do what we do. Regs, this feels like every single day. But it's not every single day. It just feels that way. Why? Because we have this special, unique, Bond. We don't know what to call it. We do not know what to call it, but at some time in the future, we will retroactively come back and rewrite history and say this is what we called it. Until that moment, we don't need words. We just know what it be. We do. Sharing is caring, but you should not share everything. Energy can save mo- noobs. It's not a misspeak. It's something that happened many, 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 many months ago, many, many years ago, and we just rock with it. We just rock with it and say that from now on, energy can save in mode is going to be something when you just tired upon tired. You sort of got an idea, but you don't have an idea. You just going with the flow. You just going where the energy takes you because you have none with a capital E. No, I guess that means empty too. Double entendre. You're welcome. You are welcome. See, uh, I don't know how to set this up. I would normally know how to set it up. I would normally know what road and directions to take. But since I am in energy can save and mode, it's just going to be what it be. Patience is not something that I have an abundance of. And there's not enough time to officially go by for me to get to some of the things that I want to get to eventually. But we protect the guilty in the game, even if the guilty is me. Sometime, sometime we protect the guilty in the game and we give stuff enough time to breathe. Ain't enough time passed by for this to breathe even though I would consider myself one of the guilty in the game. And it's not guilty how you think it is. It's a completely, completely different kind of guilty. So I usually um, I usually have this way of things happening and things going on in my mind. I try to plan out to the best of my ability. I try to do what I can and the things that I can't control. I just let it, I just let it go. Even though I think And I believe sometime it should go that way because that way is the best way. But sometimes I just have to pump the brakes and say, I can't do anything about this. I can be upset. I can be mad. I can make fun of your mood. I can raise my temperature or my beats per minute. I can do all of that stuff. 
but the ultimate end game, the ultimate end goal, what is it going to accomplish? Is it going to get me quicker to where I need to be, where I want to go to the conclusion in a sense of this is going to complete whatever said mission is. Don't worry. It's general. It's vague. We will get there. Don't hop off the boat just yet. Them are sharks in that water. Them are sharks in that water. So don't hop off yet. You're still safe. You're still safe. I'm still steering in the correct and proper direction. In the past, I would, it wouldn't matter. In the past, I would just flame throw. In the past, I would just, you know, uh, and that's the you know he he and not the you know ha ha. There's a difference between that two noobs. I suggest you go back and review some of the historical documents while the rest of us keep this moving. We can't get sidetracked. We in too deep now. We are in too deep. Previously, I, I, I would have done all the things that I say I'm not doing. And then there's a few occasions, there's a few times I still will do it just, uh, just on principle, just on GQ, just on point, just on it happens. It happens. I'm not perfect. Sometimes it just needs to be done. Will it make me feel better? Probably not. Will it get the point across? Maybe, maybe not. Is it something that can be used as a deterrence to get the word out? You betcha. But it still probably don't work. It still probably doesn't work. See, I, I was supposed to, um, I was supposed to have my uh, flight and see, yeah, this is the, the, all this is centered around uh, flying and uh, flights and all of that good stuff right about now. And it wasn't me uh, doing the first class thing and missing, missing my flight because I thought they'll hold a plane for you since you in first class. This, no, 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 no. It, it, this wasn't this occasion this time. This was a, uh, this was a universe saying that you will learn today. This was a, hey, uh, gut feelings was right. This is a, I should have listened to my gut feeling, but I didn't only because I wanted to grow as a person and me growing as a person is doing what I said I was going to do in the future. And this is why I don't like to make rain checks. And this is why I don't like to schedule or do stuff so far out, even though I do plan so far out, but I have maneuverability to make moves here or there, left or right. I was able to do that this time as well. I'm just still a little bit, uh, I'm, uh, I'm still a little bit shook about what happened and what took place and shook in a indifferent way because it went left then it went right and then i'm like okay i don't know which way to go i don't know what to do i'm just gonna let my intuition kick in now i know i should have listened to you to begin with i didn't do so forgive me but i will now and patience is probably a virtue patience is what my tank uh, it, it's almost empty on, but on this occasion, patience paid off because that was the only thing that was available at the time. I had this doubt, not in my mind, but in this, in this doubt feeling that things were going to go wrong, but I had made a plan. I had not make a promise but my word is my bond. I said I was going to do something. I said I was going to be somewhere. So I had to do it. Like the mailman. Rain, sleet, or snow, or the elements. I got to be there. In my mind, I was thinking, I can do this. I can make this happen. This will work. My intuition and gut feeling was telling me, you better change the flight. You better change the flight, change the dates, make a make a move one way or the other because it's not going to be very good. The weather is just bad. The weather is not not 
good. And planes need decent weather to go from one point to another. And that wasn't even my uh, biggest issue either. My biggest issue was basically catching the red eye and catching like the latest or one of the latest flights uh, in or out. And when you do that, it's it's all she wrote, especially if you miss your connect or especially you get delayed in your connect. And then next thing you know, yeah, it, it, it caused the chain reaction. But I did get delayed with my uh, connect, but it didn't matter because the plane that I needed to be on to go to my final destination, they canceled the flight anyway. They canceled the flight anyway. And see, since I'm in engine can save in mode, I didn't, I didn't do the setup right. But at least now you know that I was steering this, this boat that, that they got leaks in it, they got holes in it in the right direction, but you didn't want to jump out in the waters because there are sharks in those waters. Bird like voice. Yeah, those are sharks in the them waters. They're, those are sharks. So basically, I needed to be somewhere. I knew, I saw that the weather was bad. I could adjust my flights accordingly. Instead, I did not, and I risked it. I took a chance on making it through the weather. I got through the first flight, but my connect and all of that stuff, no, 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 no. And getting through the first flight was barely because it got delayed upon delayed upon delay, but at least I had enough wiggle room where I wasn't idle at the, you know, layover for x amount of hours because it was a long time but that was cool i was like i got this it's gonna work and i get there and i'm moving 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 because i got about 30 minutes where i need to get where i'm going and i already done passed the test of where i need to be now i just need to be there on time and then i'm going by the next thing i know i look up at the flight theme a jig or uh you know, screen where all the flights are and tells you on time, arrival, delay, cancellations, and all that good stuff. And then that was my intuition was like, look up at the flight. You don't need to, you don't need to keep going. Look up. And then I looked up and I saw that my flight was canceled. Yeah, my flight was canceled. So I just was like, okay. I just went somewhere and sat down and I just sat down and just sat there and listened to some music for about 20 to 30 minutes because I needed to get in the zone. I needed to get in a different zone. Oh, don't worry, because I'm getting communications with the with the I'm getting communications with the the, the, the flight, the company, you know, the airliners. I'm getting communication through them. They texted me, they sending me stuff saying this, that, this, that. I just needed to get away. And that was my commercial moment. That was my not necessarily happy place because I was not in a happy place or a happy spot. That was just me taking some deep breaths. That was just me getting my bearings back. Because if I were to just not take the time and just do what I had to do as soon as possible, I probably would have been like everybody else that was on that flight or was supposed to be on that flight and trying to look for, uh, you know, solutions. But I, I didn't do that because when I walked by the place for solutions, I looked and I saw the line and the line was like wrapped around way too far for me. So at that point, I was going to just rest it out. At that point, I was just going to sit down get in a zone, get in my zone, not happy place, but just get in a zone where I need to get things accomplished. I need to rethink things. I need to just relax, chill, have a little patience because there's nothing that I can do. The line is long. I can't yell at anybody. Why would I yell at them? They did not cancel my flight they just want to help me out and see that's some of my uh customer service uh practicing coming in so i had that mindset with them to begin with but i wasn't going to interact with them anyway because i just needed to sit down then i started getting all these messages and stuff saying oh okay 
your flight has been canceled, blah, 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 blah. You need to do this. You need to do that. So you can get a hotel. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I can get a hotel. Okay. I, I can do this. I can do this. I can wait a little longer. A hotel and a meal pass. This is what I'm talking about. So I just waited a little bit more. How, how, eh, 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 er. However, so was uh, everybody else. And I imagine that the people that was in the line or got the messages too, they got the same thing that I got. And so it was like, uh, it was like a race to who can get to the place where you said you wanted to go. And I didn't get anything fancy. I didn't do anything uh, the, the, the higher than what I normally would do. I did not give a F. I just wanted to get somewhere where I can rest and lay my head because my next flight or the one that I had scheduled or rescheduled for the next day because I'm already missing out on what I wanted to do. Remember, I'm not in where I need to be. I'm in the layover place. I am in the connect and not that kind of connect, not that kind of connect. I only had so many hours before it was time for me to get back up and repeat and do the same thing over. So now I'm thinking I need to get out of here. And when I get out of here, I'm going to need to be picked up. I'm going to need to be taken to wherever I decide. And so while I'm sitting, chilling out of the, 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 the 15 to 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, uh, just listening to the, the, the music and getting in the zone. Now I'm trying to figure out what place. And then when I figured out what place, it's time for me to act on that plan. So now I'm acting on that plan. I'm trying to wait on my ride. By waiting on my ride, I'm having all sorts of people ask me, do I need a ride? Yeah, I need a ride, but I ain't taking a ride from you. I got somebody coming, even though they super. Yes, duper. Late. It's okay. Because I'm at the point now, ain't no sense of getting angry. Ain't no sense of getting mad. I'm out of pocket. I am like a fish out of water. I am just trying to survive. I am just trying to do what it do. I am just trying to make sure that I get to my final destination in one place. So I ain't trying to pee off or tick off or upset anybody. But I'm also not trying to be an easy target. I'm also not trying to be the one that look gullible. I'm also trying not to be the one that don't know anything. So that's a hard balancing act, especially being somewhere that you ain't supposed to be, period, to begin with. But I'm, I, I'm chill. I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm collected. I just say no thank you. I've got a ride coming. No thank you. My ride will be here. They late, but it's cool. It's fine. Ride eventually come. All right. No worries. Now we get to the hotel. Get to the hotel. Everything looks cool, you know, until I go in. I go in. The line is wrapped around the, the insides. The line is wrapped around the insides and they only got one person at work and it's late at night. I was like, oh, OK, universe, I see what you're doing here. Gut feelings. I see what you done did. I see what you done did, but it's OK. I'm just going to continue to listen to my music. I'm going to continue to be super, yes, duper aware. I'm going to chalk this up to a learning experience. I'm going to chalk this up to me growing person. I'm going to chalk this up to a story. Listen up, listen up, listen up. I got a story to tell. I am going to do everything I can to make this moment enjoyable and to make this moment rememberable and make this moment something that I can repeat over and over and over and over over and over when I get when I get story time and here's my first opportunity for story time it ain't have enough or I really didn't let it breathe longer than I wanted to breathe but that's okay because I'm not painting the picture properly but it's okay because I'm giving you the patience part of the picture yeah yeah I am how eh 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 ver however I am also in energy can save in mode, so it's sort of all over the place as well. But hey, 
this is just a small piece. The overall, the overall uh, masterpiece later date at a later date. There's one person there. The line's super, yes, duper long. I'm not bothered at all. Then I say after being in the line for about 30, 40 minutes, uh, another worker come in and she comes in and she was like, okay, everybody, listen up. If you got such and such, such and such reservations, I want you over there. Form a line over there. If you got the voucher for the airlines and such and such or such and such, I want you coming to me. So, all right, people, let's get this. Let, let's get this going. All right. And then she came in. She got the lines separated. She got things moving. She was so commandful of the situation. I was in awe. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. When my time came afoot, when my time came about for me to get help, I was just starstruck. I've seen something that I ain't seen before. You talk about command of a situation. You talk about making, um, how can I put this? Because it's not a mountain out of a molehill. This is making eggs out of a gourmet dinner. This was turning water to wine. And if you don't drink, I'm sorry. This was the Midas touch. Everything she touched, everything that she came, came up to, it was immaculate. I ain't never seen a person like that before with that energy. Not only that energy, the energy to, for correction. It was like, wow. It was worth it. It was worth it. And you know what I mean by it was worth it. Missing or not missing. How about having my flight canceled? Having to stay over in, a, in my uh, label, layover city? Having to wait on my driver to take me to the hotel, having to get back up super duper early the next morning to go back to the airport so I can finally get to my final destination. All of that stuff was worth not initially listening to my intuition to begin with. All of that stuff was worth it. It was worth every single thing that the universe threw at me because I ain't never, ever seen somebody do what she did before. Now I have. Now I know unicorns exist. Now I know that these type of people exist. Now it was all worth it. Yeah, it was. And it took a little patience. It took a little patience. Will I have the patience again next time for some odd or some other situation that may uh, uh, come up? I don't know. It's a coin. Well, it's it's a coin flip. Uh, not a 50-50 coin flip or percentage. It's it's somewhere in there. But if 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 it ever happens and I get in the presence of greatness, then I can say it was worth it. Then I would feel some kind of way and be all off my feelings if I don't have the patience or if I don't. Be relaxed, chill, and calm. But I don't think it's going to come that anymore because now I got way too many signs that I must, must, must listen to my intuition. Sorry, intuition. But it was worth it that time. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Be sure to check out the website at XTRA, XTRA, VDG. S P O R T S dot C O M. See, I forgot how to spell. I'm so deep in energy can saving mode. Yeah, check out the new and improved website that is extra extra VDG sports.com. Once again, extra extra VDG sports.com. Uh, there's a YouTube as well that is extra extra VDG. That is X T R A X T R A V D G. You're welcome. Everything is there. Everything. Noob that's still here. You are one of us now. You are a part of this. We don't know what to call it, but in the future, in the distant future sometime, you'll know. 
We don't know. Everyone would know. But there's levels to this. You got to come back. And you got to come back again. And you got to understand nonverbal communication. That's the level. That's the highest of the highest level. Regs, let's just say, I'm not going to give it to you. I'm not going to even talk about the other show or the other stuff. Because I need to conserve the energy. So I'm just going to say, 